everybody welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here before welcome if you've been here before welcome back thank you to all my subscribers i hope that you're having a great and fantastic new year right now and for those of you who have not been here before I hope you consider joining me by pressing that red button down there and subscribing to me and it's free. Now guess what? Today I'm having my, my New Year's fish. It's January 18th and I'm having my New Year's fish right now. But I wasn't going to let January leave without doing it. So right here I just have some whiting. And then under here I have some uh, fried red snapper. Right here. And I have some potato salad. Homemade potato salad. And I have some greens right here with some red peppers in it. And I made a, sea, a sauce to dip my fish in. And I also have some tartar sauce. I love tartar sauce on my fish. But we're not going to do that much talking. We're just going to start going in. I've been waiting for this food. Squeeze some lemon on this joker. On my whiting and on my red snapper the whiting is filet but the red snapper has bones in it I don't care we're gonna go in anyway hope y'all like my hair wrap y'all like my hair wrap it's kind of big hope it doesn't fall off while I'm filming <laughs> so first I want to dip into this, uh, bring me a piece of fish off and dip into this sauce right here. It's something I just made up myself. This is what it's looking like. I put some onion, garlic. I put some uh, dried chili peppers in it. I put a little ginger. Um, some lemon pepper. Let's see what's up. Oh, of course, butter. Let's taste it. I know it's going to be hot. Oh, yeah, and I put some gringo salsa in it. So, let's see how it's tasting. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, now I feel the spice. And I'm putting it on there with some tartar sauce. It's barely good. Mmm. I'm real good for spilling stuff. You'll see this little tiny bit of greens I have here. I made greens to go for my uh, mukbang. And somebody went in the kitchen and started eating it. By the time I got there, this is all that was left. And I put some um, roasted red peppers in it. Mmm, that's, mmm. The peppers, when you roast red peppers in a little olive oil and a little seasoning of your choice, it brings out the sweetness of the peppers. I'm going to just dip this in here. Mmm. Oh, I 
forgot to say bless him. The Lord make me thankful for this food which I'm about to receive to nourish my body for Christ's sake, our Redeemer. Bless the coat, bless the provider, and thank you so much, God in the universe, for providing me with this food. Amen. I'm loving these red peppers in here. I just want to eat a little at a time since I have such a little bit. I told y'all before, I'm that person who likes to have something of each thing in my mouth at the same time. I have some cranberry juice and lemonade. So good. I really want to taste this red snapper. Let me just finish this little white in here. I gotta go get me some more greens and make a big pot of my greens. I'm gonna bite on this red snapper now. Mmm, it's nice and crunchy. He pours some of this on top of it. I like it with the um, tartar sauce on this one too. The whole tart, the whole fish is falling. Gotta get back to my mukbangs. You all know most of my mukbangs is home cooked food. I guess that's something that the older people like. You know, kids like that fast food and stuff. Mmm. 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 How do y'all um, eat red snapper first of all and how do you cook it? Sometimes I just steam it in the pan and make escovitch. Uh, sometimes it tastes good fried.
my son wanted to taste and I only had one. I'll save that one for him. Oh, they're grown up, so no, I'm not taking all the food away from kids. There's little bones in it. Gotta be careful. Uh. Eat this other piece of whiting over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did not know they were going to be home. But sometimes I cook a whole bunch of food and the people who live with me is not home. I thought they weren't going to be home, so I bought just enough for me. Then, they saw me find the fish. And of course, they want some. I'm going to actually save some of this for both of them. The whiting for the girl and the rest of the apple for the boy. Mm. Lemonade mixed with cranberry juice is so good. Mm -mm. Mm. What did y'all have to eat for New Year's Day or New Year's Eve? Did y'all have your fish or your black eyed peas or your green? That makes me fish and greens mean good luck, but black eyed peas mean good luck too. So, I'm not so sure. This is really spicy, this sauce I made. I think it's really spicy, well, between this gringo salsa and the uh, dried chili peppers. This whole dried chili peppers like this. It's 
see it. This is spicy too. Take this out. Mm. This is what I want y'all to do. Go down below and tell me what you would like to see me do a mukbang on. What kind of food? What's your favorite food? And what's your favorite food? What's your favorite kind of mukbangs? Now, anyway, that was just a fast little thing to say Happy New Year's to you all. I'm going to save this little bit of fish for the people who wanted some fish next time. I just have to make so much more. can not stop eating the potato salad, though. But, thank you so much for coming in. And this food was good. I'm going to make y'all some too. And I hope you comment below and thumbs this video up. Comment below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. We got some good stuff coming up for 2020. Mwah! You don't know. Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These body